Hello beautiful people, hope you guys are doing great, hope you are doing amazing. Today we're going to be diving into some of the upcoming features in Melee 3.0. By now, we can expect this update may be in December or with Fortuna, which is earlier than that. And one of the biggest part about this rework is the fluidity of the proposed Melee system. This is part of the rework, it feels like a long overdue thing, uh, and to me personally, it feels like a long overdue quality of life change more than just a rework. Combos are going to be easier to activate, and one of the problems that the devs identified is that melee in Warframe at a point in time also feels like Mortal Kombat instead of a blend of the combat system. You literally have to learn combos, and the wait time, the pauses, and how long you have to hold it, those things are a little bit crazy. And of course, let's not forget that if you have mods like Prime Fury or Berserker on, combos are going to be a pain to activate they are very hard to do yes i know some of us like it that way but the devs are also trying to bolster the new player experience this way the redesign and the combos will make it easier for new players to grasp and of course a lot of the veteran players will have it easier as well a lot of the pauses and the holds will be fine-tuned so you don't feel like you need to master chidori just to do a simple combo the animations will be blended to eliminate uh, hiccups and of course these are something that will be done to make sure that nothing leaves you open a lot of us have gotten killed a lot of times while we are doing certain combos so this will Will hopefully eliminate that problem now the next important thing in this design is that they rework the quick melee system this means that even when you have your primary or secondary weapons equipped you can still perform full combos with it right now you have the charge attack and you have the one hit quick melee system the goal is to find a balance between the fully equipped melee and the quick melee I also like the fact that the energy drain will be removed from mods which are like Life Strike or any of the other channeling mods out there and this will also affect the efficiency of the mods as well and the way efficiency mods work in general. Now if you guys remember, Warframes used to have a stamina bar. God, those were the crazy days. You can only run for a few seconds, get some rest, and then try to run again. So they are doing one of these things. You can kind of attribute this to one of the changes that they made when they removed the stamina bar. Also, they are bringing back wall running, which is one of my favorite animations in the game. So these are packages that I hope to see in December or before then with the Fortuna update even though I highly doubt that we will see the melee rework in Fortuna, but anyways, I'm really excited for it. Now, I try to be constructive with my criticism in my reviews. Everything is not always negative. There are some positive things. If people do something amazing, I let them know that they do, and if it is bad, I also let them know that they are bad, or, you know, they might need to work on some things. But I just hope that this rework is amazing as DE has portrayed it, because we've been hit with a lot of those underwhelming results lately with certain frames with certain reworks so i hope that this is actually incredible as they have said during the death streams but let me know what you guys think about this rework and if you miss the wall running in the stamina gauge as well i know there's going to be a lot of nostalgic feeling when the wall running comes back thanks for watching guys hope you enjoyed hope you find it informative i'll see you in the next one